Brittany Mahomes <laughs> is in hot water. What's my favorite cheat day meal? Fried chicken. No. Chicken fried steak. No. And mashed potatoes. Mexican food. Oh. Especially the Tex-Mex. Over this guy. A well-educated black has a tremendous advantage over a well-educated white in terms of the job market. Even about myself, if I were starting off today, I would love to be a well-educated black because I really believe they do have an actual advantage today. This past weekend, Brittany liked a Donald Trump post on Instagram. The internet sleuths discovered it, posted the evidence online, which then caught a ton of traction and picked up a ton of traction on social media. So what was the post? Stop the migrant invasion. Carry out the largest deportation in American history. Make America the most dominant energy producer in the world by far. He does not plan to do this with clean energy, but rather with... We will drill, baby, drill. We are running out of time when it comes to climate change, and this moron wants to continue drilling, says everything. Stop outsourcing. He has no plan to do this. Large tax cuts for workers. This is a blatant lie. In Project 2025, the largest tax cuts, which he already did, will continue to go to billionaires. Defend our Constitution, our Bill of Rights, our fundamental freedoms, including freedom of speech, freedom of religion, and the right to keep and bear arms, except if you're protesting. Except if you're protesting something he doesn't like. Except if you're protesting he doesn't like, he'll send the military on you. Or if you dare to be anything but an evangelical Christian, or if you are supporting or at an encampment, or if you are a Muslim, or if you're a kneeling black NFL player. Again, none of what Donald Trump is saying is true. This is the post, though, that Brittany Holmes liked. Prevent World War III, restore peace in the Middle East, <laughs> and build the great Iron Dome missile defense shield over our entire country, all made in America. His presence... For one example, moving the capital to Jerusalem was not only controversial, but led to more killings and more death. He anointed Jared Kushner to be in charge of the Middle East, and it was, to put it mildly, an epic disaster. Look, if you buy into this, you are gullible, or you're just maybe Brittany Mahomes, I don't know, and the weaponization of government against the American people, unless you're a woman who wants to control her own body, you know? Or you're an asylum seeker. I mean, the list is endless here. There is no man who wanted the government to do more, if we really think about it as I'm looking at this post, against the will of their own people than this guy. More on migrants, rebuild our cities, including D.C., making them safe, clean, and beautiful again. D.C. is already beautiful, all right? It's because... It votes blue. That's why he doesn't like D.C. And he uses D.C. as an example. There's no plan for this, by the way, just criminalizing homeless people. And by the way, what they also want to do is continue to raise the prices of everything, including your cost of living. So that way you'll become homeless and then you can get thrown in jail to support the prison industrial complex. Fight and protect Social Security and Medicare with no cuts. This is all in Project 2025. It says the opposite. Cut federal funding to any school pushing CRT, radical gender ideology, and other inappropriate racial, sexual, or political content for children. What they're saying is do not discuss race ever. Because we are tapping into the fragilities of white people in this country. We want them to be victims. What they're also saying is they want to eradicate trans people. And that is alarming. In addition, they want to privatize education because they will likely receive ridiculous backdoor deals where they will benefit from it. Cancel the electric vehicle mandate. By the way, it makes no sense because Elon is practically your daddy after the report came out that he was cutting a $40 million check a month, even though he says he's not doing it anymore. Keep men out of women's sports. More anti-trans rhetoric when this is not a problem in society. I don't even know if it's a top 100 problem in American society. Maybe even a top 300 problem in American society. Deport pro Ham by the way, it's not a problem. Deport pro Hamas radicals and make our college campuses safe and patriotic again. What are you saying here? Because 
he views Hamas and innocent Palestinians as one and the same. If you were to support innocent Palestinians, you'll be deported by Donald Trump. This is as anti-American as one can get. And then there's more election integrity nonsense because he can't win unless he strips the votes. So I guess my only question is, do you really support this, Brittany Mahomes? You like this? I mean, you did like it, but like you like it, like it? How could you? <laughs> how, how could anybody really, if you understand the backstory and how most of this is riddled with stupidity and misinformation, you would see through it. But look, we are a dumb country. I do understand that. Our education is very low. And what they want to do is make us dumber. Republicans, that is. So she would see the backlash and write in response on her story. I mean, honestly, to be a hater as an adult, you have to have some deep-rooted issues you refuse to heal from childhood. There's no reason your brain is fully developed and you hate to see others doing well. Let me be clear about something. To be a hater as an adult, you have to have some deep-rooted issues you refuse to heal from childhood. There's no reason your brain is fully developed and you hate to see others doing well. What, what is other people succeeding have to do with this? Deep-rooted issues from childhood, being a hater, like, wait a minute. <laughs> you hate on the teams that your husband plays against. You hate on them all the time. You celebrate when they lose. I just don't think this was a measured response. I think this was a, I'm really mad and I'm going to post something response. It wasn't well thought out. People.com would write the August 13th Instagram post from Mahomes, who is married to Patrick Mahomes, reportedly liked is a square graphic detailing what is called the 2024 GOP platform, which includes a list of 20 of Donald Trump's apparent talking points ahead of the election in November. This would, of course, run counter to her good friend, Taylor Swift, who was in a relationship with star tight end Travis Kelsey. She would say in October 2020, she was proudly voting for Joe Biden because she believed the United States had a chance to, quote, start the healing process it so desperately needs under his leadership. And look at where we are now. Adding, the change we need most is to elect a president who recognizes that people of color deserve to feel safe and represented that women deserve the right to choose what happens to their bodies and that the LGBTQIA plus community deserves to be acknowledged and included. She would also say this, everyone deserves a government that takes global health risks seriously and puts the lives of its people first. We are going through a serious COVID surge, by the way. The only way we can begin to make things better is to choose leaders who are willing to face these issues and find ways to work through them. Recently, Trump went to his dying platform of Truth Social to post an AI doctored photo of Taylor Swift claiming the singer had endorsed him for president. He captioned it, I accept. Swift has not made an endorsement. Interesting little tidbit inside the story via CNN, Joseph Fishman, a law professor at Vanderbilt, whose research has centered on intellectual property and entertainment law, said one of the issues with the law is that it's so broad that it covers just about any unauthorized use of a person's likeness or voice that the distributor of the image or video or sound knows wasn't authorized. That is on... Um, doctoring photos, doctoring videos, etc. Now, Newsweek did point out Brittany Mahomes has never publicly expressed her support for any candidate in the election or any other and has never liked any other post from Donald Trump. She does not follow him on Instagram. Still, she liked it. Brittany's had some questionable moves in the past. She vociferously defended Jackson Mahomes in his case, which we have covered a plenty. Check it out on demand. Many had the same dig at her online and it kept being recycled over and over and over again, no matter the platform. In 2014, she would tweet, last time I was rubbing lotion all over black guys. In another questionable post, she typed, just hit the quan with some black girls, my life's complete. What I want to center though, is what does she agree with when it comes to this post? That is what I specifically want to know. Is she one of those moms who is buying into the fear mongering of let's keep men out of women's sports when really it is not a problem whatsoever? Or is it that she just hates brown people? That's what I'm curious about. Well, the way to her reply. If you can and are willing, please become a paid member here at TYD Sports.
and or go to tyt.com slash join. In addition, you can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Appreciate it. Have a great day.